Hello, my friends. Today, oh, let's talk about Aurora Sole, Aurora Sun. We are faced with a limited and numbered edition Fontaine pen. We understand this aspect from the important package with a large box with attention to every detail. It must contain something unique and precious, an Aurora 88 Sole. Even if the box so black has always led me perplexed, and I would like a touch of color, the red Aurora logo would fit very well, why not? This version, together with its sister Nebula, are among the favorite Aurora feathers. Aurora is a brand that needs no introduction, and has always paid great attention to the creation of pens ringing from those to take the first steps up to the very expensive limited series of unique pieces, dedicating the same constructive care. This magnificent limited series dedicated to the sun seems to represent the color of the sun in the barrel in a very similar way, so much uh, so that even on, on dim days it seems to give light to the desk. The mechanics are now known from the prestigious 88 series. In this spaceman embellished with gold insert and the engraving on the bottom of the cup uh, of the spaceman number of the 888 produced. Obviously, the lion's shirt is played by the livery with the color streaks ringing from yellow to pale orange to hawker, typical of the Mediterranean sun, which inspired the auroloid creations of the Fontaine pens. There is also a more recent version of the Aurora Optima called O Sole Mio. The emotion comes by unscrewing the cup and uncovering the nib. This fountain pen comes standard with the 18 character uh, gold nib, uh, one that accumulates all the prestigious and limited edition of Aurora. But the one in my possession that I present to you today has an even more surprising longer nib. In fact, it is a super flexible nib, capable of giving calligraphy satisfactions unknown to other 40 and 80 character nibs. The Aurora Superflex nib, it is only in this version, not 18, uh, but only in 14 character solid gold. Aurora reproposed in uh, 2017 a collection of flexible nibs mounted on the special colors of the 88 series, but it is a reissue of uh, the one from the 19s proposed in an experimental and discontinuous way on the Sun Spacemans. The lucky ones will be able to find some leftover ones in some stores or mounted on fountain pens that the owners knew. My pen, is an, um, my pen is an example produced in the late 90s. It can be recognized by the length with a thinner and a taper tip than the 18 character and, and even more different than the new one. You, um, what you can buy today uh, as elasticity characteristics, but non flexibility like the one uh, that e equips the Aurora Sole in this test. Don't be fooled. In fact, Aurora decided to suspend her produce because this nib is so flexible and the past could ending up in the hands of unprepared people. Many purchasers ended up damaging it by pressing too much in search of a wide stroke. The nib under excessive pressure is damaged. Aurora shelved the project, but these flexible nibs are a real treat for anyone who loves this type of writing. You can see in the video. The fine line becomes more full-bodied, depending on the pressure applied, but in a natural and homogeneous way, just as it happens on vintage nibs, 
produced many years ago, a real jewel, albeit with some differences noticeable by the most experts. This nib lacks a certain roundness in the return phase and a different homogeneity compared to the real vintage flexible nibs. I invite you to watch the video in which I explain the differences in instrumental mechanics between modern flexible nibs and those of the past. But it must be said that the nib so long as it tapered allows you to appreciate the Kizzle works in all its splendor, a real limited edition fountain pen, a real gem to collect, but also to use for calligraphic pleasure. As you can see in the video, my writing impressions are very positive, and the nib behaves in a round and harmonious way, giving the right degree of elasticity, while not achieving the softness and elegant variation of a stroke of the most illustrious nibs of history. As unique as our limited and special editions, with a warranty of excellence value over time, much sought after by collectors around the world. And now, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, because your click is the only way I can understand the liking of foreign friends and enthusiasts. Unfortunately, it takes me twice as long to write a review in English. I know that there are subtitles automatically generated by YouTube, I know, but they only serve to give an idea of what I'm talking about and not very understandable. So, if you find the reviews and tests in English useful, I ask you to subscribe to the channel. If I see the number of subscribers outside Italy grow, I will understand that it's right to continue giving my time to reviews in English too. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but I will use my little time only for those in Italian. I hope that you can understand me. Sincerely, Marco Chiari. Thank you all.